welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with a stock swoosh and reviewing the diamonds. Nice trade here today in the diamonds. We shorted this as a day trade. Also called a put in this this morning, very, very early, and we got the drop. And you had to be a little bit patient with this, which of course we were. Here you can see on the 15 minute, the massive, massive red bar down. Huge. When we crushed and broke it. Again, it's hard to believe that anyone would have come in long this morning. Yet, people did. How do I know? We'll go back and look at the one. Again, I like to be aggressive in my trades. I rate the gap in the morning. That's my process. If it rates 20 points or more per my system, I will take the trade in the direction of the gap. Okay. So, this rated as a short this morning, and we did it. And we did it. And actually, you can see here how this took a while to get going. While normally I like to get out quick, and you kind of, we were in this before this drop, you could have gotten out with profit here. I don't know if anybody did. But I felt the bigger drop was coming. It was a little bit late for what we normally do, but it happened. Here was the drop, and I'm just gonna squish it. Boom, boom, boom. Nice move down. So again, people did try to buy the dip this morning in this. Here, 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 and here. And they got stopped out and the market continued lower, which was my original bias that we would sell off. This is a pretty big bar for the market, I gotta be honest with you. Again, we're pushing back a little bit here now, an hour and a half left of the day, we'll see where we go. But if you look at the drop, it's a $6 move. That's a nice move for the market, a nice move for this ETF. And again, why I like to short uh, when I always go to the short side, of course, I shouldn't say I, I, I like to go long too, but I prefer to short and look to the short side first, always in the morning for trades before I go to the long side. We will go long trades. I will go long too, but I prefer to short because selling happens quick. It happens fast. It happens out of nowhere. You can get a big move like this. Everybody had a huge day today. A lot of nice emails today, a lot of nice emails today. And it was one of those days where you had to just a little bit patient. Just a smidgen patient. It's a hard thing to do when you're trading, especially when you're a day trade, but we have the options on two. But you had to be a little bit patient today. If you were, you got it. You got it. So big move for the diamonds today, huge. And again, so many things going on right now, the month of December, it's gonna be volatile. What does volatility mean? It doesn't mean we're gonna sell off hard. It means we're gonna be up, we're gonna be down, we're gonna be up, we're gonna be down. It's gonna be choppy, it's gonna be confusing, unless you know what to trade and what to look for and what to do. So I look for specific individual stocks, different ones to do every day. Today just so happened that I believed in the diamonds. I said, this is a good short. And we ended up doing it. We did, we did a bunch of stuff today, but this was really a very, very, very nice move and a great trade. I will be watching the market tomorrow. I will get up in the morning and rate the gap. I do it every day in the market. It doesn't mean we play it every day, but I always look at the market first when I get up. And again, if you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, the last class of 2021 is hard to believe but it's tomorrow's December 1st there's 31 more days left in the year that is crazy this year flew by but the last class of the year is December 18th and 19th if you want to sign up email me at melissa at the stock swoosh.com don't miss your chance to trade in the room with us for 2022 it's been a great year and I'm going to look to continue and close out the year very strong have a great day everyone